The city of San Diego is closing all of its beaches, its parks and its trails. It is the latest dramatic effort to battle the spread of coronavirus. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson. Right now, 230 people in the county are confirmed to have the coronavirus. 37 people who have been infected are being treated in local hospitals. 18 are now in intensive care. And yesterday, the county announced a man in his 70s is the first San Diegan to die of COVID-19. Our tennis reporter Laura Acevedo is at the San Diego City Hall with what Mayor Kevin Faulkner says forced him to shut down those most popular places to hike and walk. And that press conference wrapped up just a few minutes ago and the new information is that after this weekend, after we saw several people at the beach not practicing their social distancing, Mayor Kevin Faulkner did announce that all beaches Parks, boardwalks, city trails and city lakes will be closed until further notice. Now the mayor said that this is all about looking out for each other and limiting exposure from one person to another. Also making sure that first responders are themselves safe when they are out responding to their calls. The impacts over some that made the wrong decision over the weekend increased the risk to other San Diegans as well as some of our public safety professionals. Of course, we will continue to take the actions necessary in the event the public safety professionals need to be tested. But we're, we're really talking about today is the actions of a few can cost the lives of many. Now, Chief Nislight said that there will still be an education portion. The officers will be out there educating the public, but if people do not listen, they will move into an enforcement phase, and that is where people could start facing misdemeanors for not obeying the city's rules. Now, during this press conference, we also learned that the city firefighters do have one positive case of coronavirus. There are several others that are also exposed and are in quarantine waiting for testing. The police department and lifeguards also say they have several people that were exposed. They are awaiting either testing or their test results. But again, all beaches, boardwalks, city parks and city lakes are closed for the time being to limit exposure and essentially force people to practice social distancing. Reporting in downtown, Laura Acevedo, 10 News. And it is possible that San Diego City beaches won't be the only ones to close. Our 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco spent the day with the county leaders at their emergency response center in Kearney Mesa. She says the county is now considering whether to close other beaches and parks. As the number of positive COVID-19 cases continues to jump every day, county health officials say maintaining that social distance of six feet is critical to stopping the spread. We're just not letting more people into the parking lot. Police tape blocked the parking lots to some San Diego beaches this weekend, an attempt to keep the crowds away. County health leaders say they want people to get out and exercise, but only as a family unit, not with other people. Before we wanted people to have the opportunity to enjoy walking on the beach while experiencing or maintaining social distancing. It looks like people are not able to do that and we will be uh, issuing an amendment to our health officer's order that if jurisdictions are not able to um, uh, enforce social gathering, we will close uh, beaches and that uh, uh, amendment to our health officer's order will be issued later today. County leaders will leave it up to the jurisdictions, but if they don't have the resources to enforce the social distancing, the county will shut down the beaches. Health officials say testing is increasing every week. drive through testing is now available at SDCCU Stadium, but a referral is still needed from a doctor or health care provider. This action, staying at home if you have mild to moderate symptoms, helps to protect our health care workers and decreases their use of, of personal protective equipment. County health officials also talked about the importance of mental health during this time, getting out and exercising, but doing it while maintaining a distance of six feet. Reporting from the County Emergency Services Center, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.